Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 laptop. This one, it does come with a Ryzen 5 and 4000 series, it has a GTX, uh, I believe 1650 and it comes with an 8GB RAM. And in this video, I'm going to take you on step by step how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the hard drive, the SSD drive and what are the options that you can put in here. Originally, this one comes with an 126 gig, 125 gig or 26 gig SSD and one terabyte or two terabyte in mechanical storage. Some people are like I find that too little, so they want to expand. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can do that. And I'm going to tell you which ones are the best brand SSDs that you should get. All right, to open it up, the tools that you're going to need is a screwdriver set. As always, I use the iFix with the screwdriver set. I buy this one with my own money. I don't get paid to advertise them, but I love them because they have an S2 class bits. They're really durable. And if you want to get the opening tools and tweezers, this and other many tools, get the pro set. Otherwise, get the simple set. And for the opening tool, I'm going to use a guitar pick, a metallic one. It's really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with this all on the hand, on the bottom, make sure your laptop is off. On the bottom side, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. The front end of the laptop has four screws. These are the short screws, and the rest are the medium screws. Go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in two different piles so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys like my video, and if my video is helping you guys out to do your own upgrades, repays, and cleaning, you can click and support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I really appreciate it. And there we have it. Once you remove all the screws, double check, make sure you haven't missed any. You want to start from the back corner right on here. You want to stick the guitar pick or the opening tool between the bottom case and the palm rest right there. I'm sticking it right about one or two millimeters. It's not going more. And I'm going to twist it outward and I'm going to hear a big click. That's what you want to hear. We know that the clip that is getting loose. You want to do the same thing all around on the side. Go all the way to the front end. And you're going to see this opening right there. And then next you want to do the front side. Same thing. Just go ahead. Open it up to the left side. All the way to the back corner. And I already feel the cover is coming off. Now all you need to do is simply Lift up from front end, wiggle it around, and it will release the remaining clips. That's the bottom cover. And down here we can see right away the mechanical hard drive. This is Seagate one terabyte hard drive. And an M.2 NVMe drive is a short one, which is right over here, covered with a thermal pad. This thermal pad is really sticky. Well, let's see, this thermal pad is cooling down by using this. Aluminium sheet right in here. But let's put it to one side so we can fold it. I don't need to remove it. To remove the NVMe drive or M.2 or mechanical drive, you do not need to remove the battery at all. But if you want to be in a precautious side, you want to take a paranoid if you are to remove the battery just by pulling these two black triggers beside it by with your fingernail, don't use anything else. Back. And it will disconnect the battery. It's kind of hard a little bit, so you want to do it gently. Pull it back. And there we have it. Yeah. So that's how you connect. So you just pull it from the corners backward. All right. Once you disconnect this one, remove the NVMe drug. It's held down by one screw only. Remove that tiny screw. And this. And maybe drive will come out in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is to grab it in 45 degree and pull it out in a 45 degree angle. You can replace this one with a um, better NVMe drive. I would recommend you guys to grab a Samsung brand NVMe. These are, you can go up to four terabyte. 
These are really durable, long-lasting NVMEs comparing to ADATA, Kingston, or any other brand. I don't have one right here. I already used this one somewhere else, but I have another one here. This is another NVMe King, King DN. I don't know whatever brand this one is. So pretty much the way that you install it, you don't need to remove anything. You want to put it in the same contact. Make sure the notch matches the notch on the dam. Bring it down in 10, 15 degrees all the way in, and bring it down. I, the screw hole on this end should match, and you're gonna use the same screw that you removed. Put it right in here. Just like that. Okay, that's how you replace the NVMe drive in here. Remember, there is no operating system once you remove the hard drives, the SSD drives. So pretty much you have to back up your files and to install the new windows, I made a video on how to create your Windows USB boot drive. Check that video link. And if you want to know how to install the windows, I made another video how to properly install Windows 10. That applies the same thing goes for Windows 11. It's pretty much the same. All right, so we covered the NVMe drive right here. For the mechanical drive, it's being held down by a bracket, metal bracket, which is called a caddy. And this one is held down by four screws. One, two, three, four screws. And the connector has an adapter that comes right, go through this contact right there. The best way of removing this one is to grab a tweezers. And what you wanna do first is you wanna lift up this lock 90 degrees upward, right that. And then you wanna just slide out the connector. Has a little adhesive on the bottom, but it will come out. Okay, once you remove the uh, connector, now we're going to proceed with removing the four screws. Okay, once you remove the four screws, oops, now you can go ahead and lift up the mechanical drive. And to remove the connector, do, the adapter, do not pull on the cable, just pull on the jack towards the hard drive, and that's how it comes out. All right. Now, let's say that you want to upgrade this hard drive to an SSD drive. All the SSDs are the same size. You can just grab it or grab a different brand mechanical drive, but you will need the caddy from here to transfer it to this one. So all you need to do, make sure the connected the orientation for the, if it's gonna focus, the orientation for the hard drive connectors are in the same position, so you don't want to put it the other way around. And what you need to do, remove the two screw on this side, to screw on this side, remove the hard drive, and place the new SSD in there and screw it down or press the bigger capacity mechanical drive. All right, let's say that we remove it, we upgrade to an SSD drive. So what you wanna do, you wanna put the adapter in. The adapter only goes it one way in. You can't put it that way in because of the connectors. Once you have it in place, you want to align it, the screw holes, put the screws for the caddy. There we go. And the last thing is to lift up the cover, bring it up and slide down the jack right in the, the flex cable right inside the jack. Once it's in there, you want to lock it down. Just bring it over and slap it right on top. There's a secondary NVM.2 right over here, but this is a really short one. You can't put an extended one right here. Even this one won't fit here. There's a mini one. You can put it right over here. All right, once we finish with that, all you need to do is to grab the connector for the battery. Make sure evenly goes inside the jack and then push it all the way toward the jack. Once you did that, pretty much we are done down here. All you need to do is to grab the bottom cover and bring it over and you want to push the corners, the sides, and make sure you hit that big click. All right, and the last thing is to slap, slap down the short screws in the front and the mid screws towards the mid, towards the back. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade. If you did, please click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Just gonna finish up putting up this screw.